monde ça va je suis contraire de ce monde de la livre la bonne doux de la croix à période monde de la livre ou de la bande I'm Queen Cotalia, the Hulu Queen of the Imperial Court, my name is Dosa Ponte. Welcome to my channel. Bienvenue sur ma chaîne. Um, this is your monthly Zodiac cast. I will be using the Hulu Omen playing cards. Um, and I just will tell you, this is my second time doing this. I recorded the whole thing, or oh, so I thought I did, and it didn't even pick up. But before we get into all of that, I must remind you to please subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up, leave a sweet, kind comment below, and hit your notification button so you know each and every time I make a new post. And merci. Let's get into, into some of the announcements. Oh my gosh, I need to slow down. Okay, so first thing, have you gotten your tickets for the Working Ritual Weekend with myself, Witch Mama, Jacob Barocho, and Madame Eliza, bringing a focus onto working within the saints, working within the fall equinox, working with moon energy and mediumship. That is held on September 24th and 25th here in person at Conjure South. It is not a virtual um, option. That being said, maybe I should make it a virtual option. I don't know. But no, I'm not making a virtual option because you need to be here for the 23rd. Why? Because I am releasing my first ever solid EP, the soundtrack, okay? And I'm releasing, I'm having a release show, not a listening party. I mean dancing, choreography, I'm talking theatrics, the whole nine. And I want you to be a part of it. Also, if you are a part of it, you get 20% off of the, Hulu, the 2023 Hulu Queen Conjure Fat, your tickets. And that's a large discount for that event. So we're super excited to be gearing up into all of those things, but you don't wanna miss it. You don't wanna miss it. The other thing is I will be teaching some new classes coming this August. There'll be two weekends that I'll be teaching. One of those weekends are going to be on a class I haven't taught before, a, uh, a method of divination that I actually know how to do, but I just don't do it. But I will be teaching an introduction to palm reading. Yes, let's talk about them hands, man, okay? Let's get into all of that. So I really would love for you to take that class. And I, I don't know if I will do them. I would probably do like a, a bundle just because it's easier to send out the um, Zoom links that way. I see hair all around my face. And so I'm just like trying to move it, but whatever. So anyways, um... I would love for you to participate in those classes if you'd like. Um, also too, in the month of August, we have a lot going on here at Conjure South, here at the store in the shop. So the first thing is the new moon circle. Madame Eliza holds a new moon circle where it is a manifestation circle working with the energy of the new moon, the planets that the new moon is in, all of this stuff that I have no idea about. So I would encourage you to come and join us. The first full moon service that we had in July was so magical. I cannot tell you how amazing it was. Um, after that, Madam Asia will be providing an in-person and maybe a virtual option of wind down yoga. I need a mirror. I need a mirror, some kind of reflective object because I just feel like there's hair all over my face. Wind Down Yoga is a, um, an hour of sacred, sensual movement within yoga, learning about some things that you normally probably wouldn't hear in a, in a normal yoga um, facility. But beyond that, you get a glass of wine, which is why you should be here in person. So um, that's going on. And then the last thing that we'll be having, and almost the last thing, another thing that we'll be having is our dark moon blessings and the dark moon blessings are by me where it's only in person you can come here you can um be washed down or wash yourself down as well as be blessed every dark moon starting in august is um a flat rate you come in you be blessed and you're good to go um and 
I think what I'm probably going to do for the sake of the blessing aspect of it all is if you come in person, you will your purchase will include the blessing. Um, so you'll come in, you'll get to wash yourself down, and then you'll get to be blessed in front of our um, dark altar, so a dark working space. And it's specifically for the moon. Some of you may or may not know the history about me and astrological prophecies and so forth and so on, but there's a whole story with that um, given to us by the king of Fudun and other spaces within the, um, the the parliament of traditional African spirituality on the continent of Africa. So there's that. Um, but beyond this, beyond this, we got community services that are coming up later on. Limoshi de Tanab, the dark market on Art Walk Night, and just a variety of other things. So I would very much encourage you to participate, okay? Um, oh yes, last, I now remember, we are doing, um, this is the last week that you can take your institute interview if you're interested in joining the Conjure South Hulu Institute of Traditional African American Conjure, Roots Work and Divination. Voila, that's it. Let's move on. So again, I will be reading with the Hulu Omen playing cards and I will be reading from Capricorn to Sagittarius. Let's begin. Commençons. Capricorn, nous avons le chat noir. Le chat noir représente tout de la chance. Um, this means that you have luck. For this month, Capricorns, you will be lucky. You will have favor. This confirms that you need to take some risk. You need to go ahead and do that thing that you wanted to do and understand that it's going to work in your favor. It already has. So you are covered in luck, my Capricorns. Aquarius. Aquarius. Tua le Lisa. Le Lisa représente changement ou changer. This means there is going to be huge life changes for you Aquarians um, for this up and coming month of August. Remember, I must confirm and, and encourage you, go with the flow so you can glow, period. And that's what I know. Maybe I'm a rapper. Or maybe there's hair on my face. I don't know. Either way it goes, Aquarians, you need to understand that with these shifts, shift with those shifts. Change, change with those changes. Don't become rigid. Don't become too upright to while you break, okay? Pisces, Pisces, Tua. I was like, what is this? Lavash. This is the card of your focus, your concern, your mind needs to be on your money, your career, your business, or those material things that you desire, those wishes, okay? That's where your focus needs to be. That's where your focus has to be. And um, period, point blank. That's where, it, that's where it is, all right? So this month, it is about that money. It's about your bag. It's about that coin. It's about that your profession, not your purpose, not your passion, but your profession, your money. That's where it's at. So where is that energy surrounding that? What are you doing? What are your actions surrounding that? Aries, Aries, nous avons um, pas de mal, tu as um, le 3X. Um, le 3X is the three X's. This is a, this month, there are a lot of things that are going to bind or hold you down, tie you down. So this confirms that you need to have um, two weapons, one, two, 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 okay? You are in need of clearance um, to nettoyer, to be cleansed, all right? Um, a cleansing nettoyage, cleansing is needed. So this says that there are spaces that really need to be released. This is a month where you're going to have to either be released from or release yourself from getting a cleansing 
spiritually would not be a bad idea so that your August is smooth and seamless. Otherwise, it's going to be difficult and frustrating. Okay? Ensuite, la main. La main pour uh, Gemini. No, 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 no. Taurus, Taurus, you will not get me. Taurus, Taurus, you get Lama. This is the card of Lama. This is the card of the hands. This card communicates that you have to restore the balance in your life. Restore the balance, the harmony in spaces within your life. This literally says that you have to do this work. You have to do this work. This is not on anyone else. This is on nobody else. This is on you. You have to do the work. So understand that the work can be done, but are you going to get it done? Hmm? Hmm? Just wondering. Okay. I want to know. Gemini. Now it's Gemini. Gemini, nous avons le caste, le caste. Um, is the card that says this month of August, Gemini's, you will be provided for. The things you need, you will have. And what you have will fulfill the things that are needed in your life. There no, there's no need to worry, no reason to doubt, no reason to stress, no reason to pull your hair out, none of those things. Don't walk around here looking like Cynthia from the Rugrats, my love. Don't do that. No. You're going to be good. Trust and know this, my Geminis. Next. On seat, cancers. Cancers, tu as le super poulet. A pool. Okay? This is the card of the serpent snake. Cancer, this communicates and confirms that there is something in your life or someone in your life that will be taking from you this month. Taking while you are giving. Something or someone that's taking advantage or using you as an opportunity. Recognize who and or what this is and handle them accordingly. Okay? So don't be taken advantage of this month. Don't allow yourself to be used. Teach people how to treat you. Point blank period. You can't give them an empty cup, my chérie. Know this. Ensuite, Leo. Leo, nous avons the nine of diamonds. The nine of diamonds communicate that you need to be preparing for your blessings. You need to be preparing for your blessings. Have you created space in your life to receive the things that you claim that you are worthy and deserving of having? Have you done this? Have you done this? Have you removed the people in your life that are not aligning you to what it is that you claim that you are worthy and deserving of having? Have you done this? It's very important that you do this. So preparation for the month of August is your only goal in your money, in your love, in your health, in your spiritual self. All of those things. Get it done. Get it done. Virgo. Virgo, nous avons. Oh, tu as l'ami. L'ami is the card of the month. This communicates that Virgos, the, the ancestors are communicating, please do not enter this month entertaining or investing in the same BS that is toxic and that isn't working for you. Do not entertain or invest in things that are not assisting in your growth. Do not invest in things that aren't filling your cup. Just because it feels good to you doesn't make it good for you. I think people that do crack have that same mindset. I'm pretty certain. It feels good to them, but it's not filling the body. It's not filling them up. It's not filling their cup. So why, you know, so just because it may feel good because certain people may feel good to be around doesn't mean that it's good for you. Know this. Libra, Libra, nous avons, you get the, um, the needles. This is, this month it may be a very anxious month, an aggravating month, an aggressive month, maybe even a violent month. I don't know, but what I do know is this. You do not have to respond to negativity and aggression with negativity and aggression. Just because the environment is negative doesn't mean that you have to respond negatively. Also understand that it is not your job 
and you are not obligated to hold hold yourself accountable for someone else's energy or actions. And you certainly don't have to respond or react to them. Scorpio, Scorpio, you get the card of the seven of hearts. It says for this month, don't be in your feelings, period. Don't be in your feelings, my love. Don't be in your feelings. Be humble. Ask yourself, why is this idiot being an idiot? What is going on right now? What is happening? What is happening? Don't allow your desires to distract you and to destroy what you are working on this month. Don't get caught up in yourself and your own emotions that it blinds you for what you need to be doing. Sagittarius, last but not least, clearly not least, nous avons la canne à sucre. La canne à sucre. This is the card of the sugar cane. It says, Sagittarius, we are going to have a progressively great month. It says that things are going to progressively get better and things are going to just about get to where we want. So September probably will bring exactly what we want. In fact, September will and has brought what we want. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. So this says, don't judge your Monday for Saturday. No, allow your, sat allow your Monday to be good and know that your Saturday is going to be so much better. Okay. So that's how our month is going to be. It's going to get better the whole month. Ashi and merci on zest. Because listen, my baby. Anyways, my loves, again, je suis Cotalia, bien de mes dos, de la lip, la rana du. I'm Queen Cotalia, the Hoodoo Queen. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. And see you. Oh my gosh. Get your media readings. Yes. Au revoir. Merci.